Hello children, in this lesson we are going to learn how to do addition of two decimal numbers representing capacity. But before that, let's take some simple examples without decimal numbers. Let's say you have two liters of juice and you got six liters of juice more. Wow, my mouth is watering. So let's say you have two liters of juice and you got six more liters of juice. How many liters of juice you have? We do liter right like this and we write two plus six. And we know two plus six is eight. So we have eight liters of juice with us now, right? So we take took two numbers with liters and the answer is also in liters. Let's take milliliter example. Let's say we have 150 milliliter plus 350 milliliters and we need to find the sum of it. How do we do it? 150 milliliter we write on the top plus 350 milliliter below it and then we write an underline below it and then we start doing addition similar to three digit addition that is starting from one's position going to left and then left so zero plus zero is zero five plus five is ten one is carried over to its left neighbor so it goes here one plus one two two plus three five so the answer is five hundred milliliter right so both the numbers were in milliliters, so the answer is also in milliliter. Let's take a problem which is having liter as well as milliliter. So we write liter on the left, we write dotted lines and then we write milliliter on the right side. So let's say we have 93 liter and 60 milliliter plus 90 milliliter and 20 milliliter. So we want to add these two numbers. So we write 93 before the dotted line because it's 93 liters and 60 we write it after the dotted line but remember we write it as 060 and why did we do that? Because we know this area is representing milliliter and 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter and how many zeros are there in 1000? 3 zeros so here we will write 3 digits because 60 was only having two digits, six zero, we add an extra zero before it. Zero six zero is same as six zero, right children? We don't write zero after it. We don't write it like six zero zero, it becomes 600. The problem was 93 liter and 60 milliliter. So we write as 93060. The other thing is same, 90 liter and 20 milliliter. So we write again 90 and 020 milliliter and why did we add three digits here because we know one liter is thousand milliliter so we write dotted line here and we start doing addition from the rightmost digit 0 plus 0 is 0 6 plus 2 is 8 0 plus 0 is 0 3 plus 0 is 3 9 plus 9 is 18 so the answer is 183 liter and 80 milliliter, right? So remember, we wrote both the numbers one below the other and showed the milliliter is below milliliter, liter is below liter. And if the milliliter number is lesser than lesser than three digits, we add, we append or we we add a zero before it, prepend a zero before it, zero six zero or zero two zero, right? And so the answer is 183 milliliter and 80 milliliter. So now let's come to the actual problem with decimal. So the dotted line is now removed and we have a decimal point here. 30.000 liter, which is 30 liter plus 79.000 liter which is 79 liter we write it one below another write a line here and then we start doing addition from the rightmost digit 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 9 is 9 3 plus 7 is 10 
so the answer is 109.000 liter which means 109.109 liter and 0 milliliter which is 109 liter right so it's a long problem but finally if you write the numbers correctly one below another the unit below each other the decimal below points below each other it's finally nothing but like a five digit addition problem starting from rightmost digit we keep going left let's take another problem 0 0.420 liter plus 0 0.080 liter we're going to do a little faster this problem 0 plus 0 0 2 plus 8 is 10 1 goes carry over 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 0 5 0 plus 0 0 so the answer is 0 0.500 liter okay let's take a little bigger problem 66 0.600 liter plus 50.150 liter 0 plus 0 0 again we start from the rightmost digit goes to and start going from rightmost to the left 0 plus 5 5 6 plus 1 7 6 plus 0 6 6 plus 5 11 so the answer is 116.750 liter or in other words 116 liter and 750 milliliter now let's say we have a problem of 6.600 liter plus 8.800 liter so we write it one below the other exactly the same way start from the rightmost position 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 6 plus 8 is 14 how do we write 14 here just like we do like this 4 we write here and 1 we write to its next neighbor and you must be wondering oops next neighbor is before the decimal point can I do it yes you can do it because we know 1 liter is 1000 milliliter finally 1400 liter 1.1400 means nothing but 400 milliliter and 1 liter because 1 liter is 1000 milliliter so we the 1 goes here now 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 8 is 15 so the answer is 15.400 liter or 15 liter and 400 milliliter let's take another problem 66.700 liter plus 61.350 liter 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 5 is 5 7 plus 3 is 10 0 comes here, 1 goes to its left neighbor. So it comes here, independent of it before the decimal point, no issues. It should always go to its left neighbor. So now we come to 1 plus 6, 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 6 plus 6, 12. Right? So the answer is 128.050 liter, or in other words, 128 liter and 50 milliliter so doing addition using decimal point is simpler as long as you follow consistent unit in both the numbers in the question as well as the answer write decimals below each other as well as ensure you have three digits here because one liter is thousand milliliter so if a number is smaller than three digit you add zero before it so if the number was 66 point 66 liter and 5 milliliter you will write 66.005 66.005 liter is same as 66 liter and 5 milliliter and why why are the three digit as i said because one liter is 1000 milliliter 1000 has three zeros correct so we write three digits here and then you start doing addition from the rightmost digit keep going to the left if the answer is greater than 9 the carryover moves to the left digit so that's all for now children keep practicing and have fun bye bye